how to swap crypto in Rabi Wallet. So if you do have your Rabi Wallet set up, you're gonna to come to the swap tab right here. And then from here, it's gonna ask you which chain do you want to use? And also what tokens do you want to actually trade? Up in the top right hand corner, you can see the settings here. If you click that, it's gonna give you all of these exchanges that you can turn on. Now, what Rabi actually does is it surveys a lot of different decentralized exchanges and it gives you quotes on the trade at the current time on those exchanges. So you can actually choose different exchanges and obviously choose the one that is gonna give you the best trade at that current time. Now, right here, you can see view quotes. So you can turn all of these on or off, it's up to you. And then on the right hand side, it says trade. So you can click these on or off as well. Now, what this is right here is that you can get quotes for these, but because these are turned off, it won't let you swap on them until you turn them on. And essentially you're giving Rabi um, acceptance to go ahead and trade on them. So if I just click this one on, it says once enabled, you can interact with smart contracts on this exchange. You can press I understand and then confirm it to actually turn that exchange on. If you don't do that, then you won't be able to trade. This is a safety feature so that you don't interact with any smart contracts that you don't want to. Rabi supports many different EVM networks, and so you can choose which network you want to use for your trade just by up here, it says chain. If you click this, you can see all of the networks that you have uh, some assets on, uh, and then it shows you right here that I've got some assets on BNB chain, and so I can go ahead and swap them. And down here as well, you can see the other supported networks. If you scroll down, these are networks that aren't supported for right now, and so you can't actually use RabiSwap on those networks. But for all of these supported networks, you can just click on them, for example, this one. And if you have any balance right here, you can go ahead and swap those tokens on that network and then switch back to the network that you wanna use. Now, whichever network that you're using, you do have to have the layer one coin to pay for gas. When we exchange tokens, we have to pay a gas fee and that is gonna be paid in the layer one coin. So you have to get that into your wallet first. If you don't have that, you won't be able to swap any other tokens. Once you have that gas coin in your wallet, you can swap any two tokens that are supported, so that's no problem, but you do have to have the layer one coin initially. So. For BNB chain, that's BNB. For many of the layer twos on Ethereum, you're gonna to have to have ETH. So Arbitrum, Base, uh, Ethereum, Optimism, you're gonna need ETH on, uh, in those wallets. Uh, so just check the gas coin for the network that you want to use and make sure you have enough for the swap. So I can very easily get that into my wallet. So I can just go and copy my wallet address right here, then go over to my centralized exchange. I'm just gonna paste in my address and make sure that I have some of the gas coins. So on the uh, Binance exchange, I've bought some BNB, which I'm gonna use to pay for gas for the exchange. I'm going to withdraw it into my wallet on the network that I want to swap on and that I want those assets on. So I can withdraw that uh, into my wallet to make sure I've got enough gas to pay for the transaction. Once I have some of the gas coin to pay for the transaction, we can go ahead and swap. So if I press swap here, I can choose the gas coin as value to trade with so I can sell that into something else and pay for gas at the same time or as long as I have enough of the gas coin to pay for the transaction, I can swap any two other coins. And also leave links below to the centralized exchanges I use. If you want some deposit bonuses on those, you can check the details via the links below. But I'm going to use this value to swap into another coin. So what I can do is press this and then search for the coin. So if I wanna swap into a stable coin or something like that, I can search right here and you can see a lot of different tokens, right? So this is obviously the one that I want, it's USDT. These all have different names and so aren't what I want, but you can see it's on the BNB chain or if it's on base or optimism, it will have those logos there. So you can do that. What you can also do is search for all of the popular coins and liquidity pools on the blockchain that you wanna use. So you can see here on Gecko Terminal, I'll link all these below as well. You can search all of the different liquidity pools on all of the different chains. So another example, BNB, then we can see all of the popular liquidity pools and watch trading. So these are the popular tokens, these have the highest trading volume and everything like that. So what we can do is go into this pool, which is number one, and this is BNB against dollars, US dollar tether. You can come down here, see all of the trades, but importantly as well, you have the contract addresses right here of the coins that are traded. This just gives you some extra information about uh, you know, the popular liquidity pools. These are gonna be the uh, assets that people actually want to trade and there aren't any kind of fake tokens or anything. So USDT here, I'm gonna copy that. Um, then I'm gonna go over to Rabi Wallet again and I'm gonna press swap. 
make sure that I paste in the address and it says, yep, this is USDT, that's the one you wanna trade. So I can click that uh, and then they're the assets that I wanna trade. Now from here, we can swap an amount. So let's just do something like this. And it says, okay, you wanna swap this, we're gonna get quotes. So we get quotes here. And these are all of the exchanges that uh, Rabi is getting price quotes from. These are not Rabi, these are different DEXs around uh, crypto. And what you wanna do here is sort with gas, because what you want is the best trade. So you want the best exchange rate, but also you wanna pay the lowest amount of gas. And so the total cost of the transaction is lowest. That's obviously what we want. And it says one inch is the best. You're gonna pay 26 cents in gas right here. And this is the exchange rate as well. Um, so you can see that right here, we're getting $5.84. And this one is actually $5.86. So you're getting more te uh, tether for your BNB, but you're also paying 74 cents in gas right here. So the total cost seems to be better on this one right here. So we'll press that. And then it says swap via one inch. Now, if you're brand new to the exchange and you haven't used it yet, you may have to accept uh, the assets into the exchange. That means you're gonna have to pay a gas fee in order to set up the contract to allow it to trade your tokens. So if you've not done this before, when you press swap, it may say, actually, you're not able to trade this asset yet with the exchange. You're gonna have to kind of sign the asset into the exchange and you have to pay a small gas fee for that. So you'd have to do that first and then it says, yep, you're all set up, good to go. Now you can swap the assets. So if it, if it shows that, then you'll have, go, uh, you'll have to go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna swap this around amount right here. I'm going to refresh the quote, press this one, which is the best. You can see what's happening. There's an exchange, everything's fine right here. And we're gonna swap via one inch. It's gonna show me all of the details of the exchange. So this is how much you're exchanging and how much you'll get. You can see this. Now, Rabi also gives you details about any potential problems or scams or anything like that. It's not telling me that there's any issues right here. So I'm gonna sign and create this, press confirm, and it's going to go through and transact. So that should actually be done already. Now, if I click on my assets right here, um, what we can see is if we click on the BNB chain, which is where I swapped, you'll see that now I've now got less BNB and I've swapped that into some USDT.